Harry, five defeats in a row doesn't quite tell the whole story of how we've been playing in those matches. For, for large periods of a lot of those, we, we've been perhaps a better team or dominating. How, how do you feel that, that we've been playing in those games? Yeah, I feel like we've performed and competed really well in those games. Like you say, it's five losses in a row. We've come up against a really good opposition. Um, they're at the top of the league and and uh, competing at the right end of the table and, and all pushing for promotion. And I feel that, like you say, the results don't reflect the performances. I feel like we've been in been in the majority and gone toe to toe with some of these really good teams. And I think even just looking at last week at Sheffield Wednesday, I think we've we've probably had majority of the possession, especially first half, majority of the chances, but um, unfortunately we've come away with, with no points, but I feel like that's probably been a bit of the story over the last five, six games. Um, but I feel like we're really competing against against teams at the top end of the table and, and showing that, that we could be a real threat, especially sort of looking into next year as well. Following the game at Ipswich on Saturday, we'll have played three teams that we know will be in the Championship next season. Um, how big a lesson have you, well, you know, how many lessons have you learned playing these oppositions about your game and perhaps as a team as well? Yeah, I think these are these are the games every player wants to be playing in. That's that's the privilege of being promoted last year to be playing playing these teams at, the, at like I said, at the top of League One. Um, I feel like we're gonna we've learned a huge amount. We've got quite a young squad. I think um, some of these games would be sort of the first that these players have had to experience in in grounds like Hillsborough and Portland Road and. Um, and places like that on Saturday and I think um, we'll gain a huge amount of experience as a team and also individually playing against some of the best players that, um, that, that the league can offer. So I feel like it's good experiences for us to, to go into next season and for the future as, as individuals and as a team. Looking at Ipswich this season, I mean 12 wins in a row, 37, uh, 37 goals scored, two conceded. They're on an astonishing run uh, and they have the potential to go up on Saturday. Are we going there and obviously trying to win the game, but just make it as difficult as possible for them to do what they want? Yeah, I think it's obviously the main aim for us to be going there and, and showing what we're about and what we can do um, and try and execute the plan that, that the manager sets for us. Um, like you say, it's probably, um, we, well, we know it's going to be one of the most difficult games that we're going to have this season, looking at their form and looking at sort of the atmosphere they'll have in the home games as well. Um, and I think we've got, got to go up there and, like you say, try and make it as difficult as you can for them, but also try and play our stuff as well. We're not just going there to, to concentrate on what they can bring to us. We need to go there and concentrate on what we can give to them as well um, and what problems we can, we can set for them, if you know what I mean, and deal with the problems they set for us. So, um, like you say, it's going up there to, to definitely go out there and try and get the three points, but also probably frustrate them and annoy them in the same way that hopefully that will help us gain the advantage throughout the game. And we almost want to be in a similar position that we did at Sheffield Wednesday, where we took the lead. Their fans really got on their backs, and, and it, it wasn't a nice atmosphere for, for their players to play, and I'm sure. Do we want to sort of replicate that in some way? Yeah, I think so. I mean, there's high expectations of these teams at the top of the league, like Sheffield Wednesday, Ipswich, and, and teams like that. There's, there's high expectations, and they, the fans probably expect our Exeter have come up last year and not, not a massive club in League One or we expect that we should be beating them at home. So, like you say, I think it's important that, that we try and silence the crowd, um, try and play our football and also, like you say, frustrate the crowd, which could also sort of mentally get into the players as well. So I think um, we're going there to, to play our own game. But I think if we do that well, then we will, we will frustrate the crowd and, and hopefully frustrate them as a team as well. Reflecting on the home game against Ipswich, would you say they're probably the best side we've played this season? Yeah, I would say so. I think so. Um, I would say they were very well organised, very very compact when we had the ball. Um, yeah, I would say they were, they, that was probably the best performance I've seen or the hardest game we've played in um, this season, which is credit to them and credit to, to them as a club and their manager as well and their players. And I think, um, I think obviously they're a great side and their run's been unbelievable. We don't need to say anything about that. So, But we'll be looking to go up there and try and stop that this, this weekend. Let's talk about your season... Personally, first season in League One, you started really well, took it like a duck to water. How do you assess that it's been for you? Yeah, I feel like it's been a really, really positive season for myself, I think. Um, obviously, having the injury at the end of last season that kept me out for a couple of months and um, not really, probably not as, an, an, as much of an established player then as I wanted to be back then in, in last season. Um, my main aim was to play as many games as I can. Um, 
just try and get as many appearances under my belt, as many starts as I can, and also try and contribute to, to goals and things like that as well this season. So I feel like from a personal point of view, it's been a really, really positive season to, to play as much as I have and also to to um, get as many sort of the three or four goals that I have got in the league is, is obviously an added bonus on top of that. So I've been really happy with my season so far and um, hopefully we can we can finish it strong. What's been the standout moment for you, would you say? Um, I'd say probably from a personal point of view, it would be winning League One goal of the month. Um, well, that's happened. Earlier on in the, <laughs> earlier on in the season. Um, like I say, I don't I don't score probably a huge amount of goals, so to be able to score one so early, and obviously with our first month in League One, to be able to win League One goal of the month was a great start, and I feel like it's probably helped me carry on that throughout the season. So I'll say from a personal point of view, that would probably be my my highlight. I think it was three or four by the end of August, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, around that. I'm not going to say any numbers because <laughs> I'm not going to say any numbers. But yeah, it was it was around that. It was it was a really good run. So. Yeah.